And hello and welcome to part 6 of Let's Play Carbon San Diego's Great Chase Through Time. We are thankfully finished the 11th century, <laughs> and now we're, we're on done. to something else. And I do like, this game I think is fairly good mm. with um, avoiding um, Eurocentrism, or yeah. Western Central. Like, it's very good at it. Like, that's our only medieval stuff. Wow, really? Yeah. Um, we go back to Europe, of course, but okay. that's our, like, that's medieval England. We're, it's like... It sh we'll we'll so see. We had the Vikings, we had medieval England, but we, we have also Japan. had Japan, Japan uh, ancient Egypt. Uh, well, ancient Egypt is not medieval. But, uh, yeah, I see what you're saying, well, yeah. Oh, I see. Rome, like, oh, kind of, still a little bit. Rome is Western. Yeah, so we still can't. Well, let's see what happens. Yeah. Let's see what happens. I don't know where we're going next. Yep. You're tunneling to the 13th century, where China's Yuan Dynasty oh, is powering go. up. But an historical link between East and West is missing. You'll be in the large, capable hands of good guide Rock Solid, explorer par excellence. As usual, he's got your cuffs yeah. and more background information for you to check out. Remember, China is huge. So wear That's your walking shoes. Yep. I'm trying to remember you on... I, I the Mongols. So, oh, that was the name of... We made it, Trooper. We're in China in 1271. This year marks the start of the Yuan Dynasty and the reign of Kublai Khan. And look, there's the wise Khan right over there. The Khan is not pleased. I was looking forward to a visit from the Polos, and now this. Say, the Khan looks pretty put out after scanning that scroll. Yeah, so, so here's just very briefly Mongols in China. So, China was three states, the Jin, the Song, and the Shishia. Genghis conquered the Shishia and the Jin, which is in the north, and then Kublai conquered the south and established the Yuan dynasty, as opposed right. to just ruled by the Mongols. Yep, so let's talk to Mr. Khan. The Bolos have fallen victim to a thief on the Silk Road. Even worse, without the oils they hope to bring, the Polos have headed back for Europe. Oh. Also, that oil, that was oil from the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Oh. Like, that was really nice oil. Oh. And I think they only were able to get it because they, um, they were, had a reasonably good relationship with the Pope. Because I think, like, if I remember, like, basically, the, this was, like, it was, like, five years it took them to get the new Pope, mm -hmm. and the, they had support. Because they were um, Venetian merchants, and they were also friends. They were staying in Accra, I think, where it was, and they were friends with the bishop there, or some, someone who related some relation to that, and then he became pope, and he let them take some of the oil. Huh. So, like, this was, like, really valuable stuff. Huh, interesting. <laughs> who are you? That's probably a bad thing to ask. I am Kublai Khan, ruler of the Mongols and conqueror of the Chinese Sung Dynasty. Yep. Only a few rebels in the south still defy the power of my mighty Mongol army. And he knows the entire body. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> my people, the Mongols, are a great warrior tribe from the northern highlands. We've ruled China Actually, since the time of my grandfather, since Genghis Khan. Yeah, exactly. This is about to happen. Yeah, the first invasion was like what? The first 74? invasion of Japan is seventy four. Yeah. Yeah. So no, I think it's it's something, but it's definitely after this. So yeah. It's around thirteen fifty. Right. Because we're not. Hold there was yet. in China at the time. All right. Can you tell us what game's gone? My grandfather, Genghis Khan, was a Mongol warlord who overran the Great well, Wall, no, he's around ruthlessly it. conquering northern China and ferociously battling to the very edge of Europe. That's more soft, My but rule, yes. fortunately, has been a bit more civilized. And that's Actually, true. a little thing about the Great Wall of China, it was originally constructed by an incredibly paranoid emperor because... Yes, Jing Shi Wangbi. Jing Shi Wangbi. Wow. You know this way better than I do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, because he was obsessed with trying to avoid death, so we thought by building this great wall he'd be able to keep out. In general, though, there were other things, too. He also died from uh, lead poisoning because he had immortality pills that were lead. Yeah, he wasn't the best. He was not a good person. He was not good at it. Yeah, also, if you notice, Kublai Khan's like more like, uh, I am much more calm than Genghis, who's like, I'm gonna ride a horse and kill things. 
but like, yeah, and that's true. Like he was adopting like part of the reason he was like, I'm the Yuan dynasty. He was like, I am more civilized. I am Chinese. Right. My foreign friends, the Polos, were bringing precious oils from their distant homeland, but a dishonorable thief has stolen this gift. The Polos are merchants from a place called Italy, far to the west. They came here years ago and promised to return with gifts from their homeland. We'll get to Italy. The great Khan has learned to trust foreign visitors and accepts your offer. Please help the Polos for me. To speed your travels, I grant you full use of my golden tablet of passage, which allows safe travel throughout my domain. That's actually not a... Um an item you have, but it is cool that they actually address that. Like, right. here's why you just have carte blanche to travel. Mm -hmm. um, Surely you know of the Silk Road. It is the ancient path all merchants take to journey east and west. And they mean ancient, like, that is like the Roman it's, Empire. Yeah, or the Silk Old Road is really old. Yep. What is not? Porcelain, silk, even the paper money my people make here in Kanbali. That's right. Is that Kanbali? China? No, because, oh yeah, that's Kanbali. China Kanbali. is the first, the uh, first place to adopt paper money. Yes. Yeah. Wait, Kanbali, I thought that was in... I, no, I don't know Kanbali. No, Kara... No, Karakora. No, Kanbali. I, I could have sworn Karakora? I can't remember the names. Oh, well. Indeed we do. Our convenient paper money is made from the bark of mulberry trees, like the one that shades me now. And again, paper in these days is very different. Paper in the ancient days are very different from what we would call paper now. Completely different process. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Because they use the leaves, I believe? Uh, bark, leaves. Because it's like pulp, and it's pulp now. It's pulp now, but originally it was, it was, uh... Yeah. But like, paper's been a thing in China it's for a while. Indeed, firecrackers are most useful in celebrations and to frighten away evil demons. Behold! <laughs> Lazy cat. Come, come, Sum. The Khan's cat must be braver. That's a big cat, too. Yeah. Firecrackers. That yeah, Khan's got one cool cat. The Mongols often used cats and birds when hunting. Okay, let's... And actually, in Mongolia, they still do. It's huh. a tradition. Especially Over there birds. is Kanbalik, the Khan's capital, and the center for producing paper money. Oh. In our time, it's called Beijing. Beijing's gone through a lot of names. Beijing has gone through a lot, a lot of names. <laughs> yeah. Because I know there was a Mongol capital in Mongolia that they used. And I'm not sure when and how much, but... Okay, so let's go to Sinaga. And this is weird, because, well, as you'll see in a second... Oops. Yeah. What? Exactly. We just went a lot of miles. Which is really weird. Hey, that's a piece of Carmen's note. The thief was here. You should be going here by now if you travel that far. Yeah. Is that actually a good look on a stately pleasure don't decree? A stately don't decree. I think it was pleasure don't in the actual poem. In the actual poem, it's in, in Xanadu to look on a stately pleasure don't decree. I know, I don't think the off is in there. No, it's there. I'm pretty sure it's there because... Where is it? Because it doesn't, because it throws the rhythm of the meter back into stately pleasure don't decree. Anyway, let's talk to this. I wish my hands were not so idle for lack of silk. I'd rather be spinning silk than sipping soup. Greetings. I am Song Hu, one of many silk weavers here in Xiangfu, where women have made silk weaving an art. I don't think I've ever asked done this dialogue. Strangers, Xiangfu is a most famous city. If you want the finest silk, there is no better place than right that's here. A, that's not a city. Yeah. My silkworms can produce no silk, for they have nothing to eat. Oh, whoops. Hold on. Silkworms I, I are something. finicky eaters, and will feast only on the leaves of the mulberry tree. I cannot. My mulberry tree is all out of leaves. 
My poor worms are starving. I would like to eat my soup, but this spoon has a mind of its own. Scholars tell me it detects strange energy properties. All I know is that each time I set it down, the spoon spins and points in the same direction. I would gladly give it away, but this is my only spoon. I got them from a trader near Sachau. I hope I didn't make a foolish trade. That's an aggressively magnetic spoon. Yeah, that's cartoonishly. Actually, we need to go back. Farewell. Pleasant journey. Ah, that's why. The Great Khan greets you. Yeah. So he pretty much did that as the did that. Yeah, I, so I forgot. That's fine. I see you want some wonton soup, but I have only enough for you one. See, this is actually an art session, I regret, because, like, there's no excuse. This is supposed to be a city we should be seeing, like, yeah, a we shop. Should, we should be seeing a quite It's a like a shop in, like, an urban environment, but we can use... Wow, those worms have an appetite just like mine. Big. Thank you for your kindness. Please accept this gift of silk in gratitude. Just remember that silk at this point is incredibly expensive. Not as much in China. Not as much as in China. But, but yeah, it was like traded. The, yes. Sir. Okay, well, well, we did kind of save our entire journey. business in livelihood. Yeah. Back we go. So, Chad, that was in, that's in uh, Northwest China, right? Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, barter and trade with me. I've got wagon loads of fabulous goods. Still not enjoying the world. Honest travelers, I am Wang, a merchant who travels the Silk Road. Well, I'll like the Silk Road. The Silk Road stretches countless miles. Goods pass from merchant to merchant, making their way from right. east yep. to the distant west. Though I myself have traveled only as far as the nearby desert. That's really good. I'm glad they got that. Yeah. I could well, be convinced to part with certain items if yeah. you have something of value to trade. I have a passion for silk. I can trade it anywhere from Kambalik to the Great Desert. So this, I don't like this mission as much because it's very, very narrow. Like, it's like all of China and we're just like, and we have very crappy, very like, and there's nothing to click on. So like, there's nothing to interact with and interact with how you like, you build your environment. Right. Actually, are these? Yeah, none of this is background objects. Wow. Okay. That's... Well, I guess this was... Um, what is it? This pottery is wonderfully delicate and as thin as paper. You won't find work this fine anywhere else in the world. For the also, secret of making porcelain like is known only to us, that the Chinese. Actually, fun little thing. There's yeah. a theory. There's a theory that because the Chinese so good at making porcelain and never made the move to make to start making glass, they actually stunted their technological growth. Because you couldn't make lenses. You don't have glass making technology, you can't make lenses. That's the sturdiest wagon I own. I need it to travel the long, hard miles of the Silk Road. Say bacteriology or other ones. Well yeah, but I mean that took eighteen hundred that was the eighteen hundreds for Europe. That's true. And because they never made the same yeah, because also like by that and I'm, by that I'm time, talking about I'm, I am talking about that that kind of period. Right, but like by that time China had other problems like right, foreign like, intervention and like a string of not so good leaders. Yeah. Yeah. And that's even before even that's even before. What like, fine really silk! In oh, return, God. I shall give you this porcelain bowl, and to prove my generosity, I'll add the spoon for free. Free spoon. Check out the bowl. Alright, so. So, I'm actually going to, um. Uh, Safe travels, my you friend. You shouldn't be able to. Actually, I'm just gonna play this straight. Uh. Farewell. So, so we're supposed to just try to find the polos. Right. Uh, well, so let's go here. Travel Safe down. travels, my friend. But you'll see why. Oh. Oh, hi. Take note that C note means we're hot on the paper trail of our perpetrator. Let's leave the desert, because this Marco. sounds like a great idea. Also. Marco Polo! <laughs> wow. Nothing? 
I got lost. We need some device to find our way through uh, this land of sand. Why. So, like, I could have gone... So we trade the bowl in for the compass ball. I didn't want to do this to be fair, because, like, there's no way you can know that before doing that. Right. But also, when you, um, they do the map thing... Save really travels, my friend. Right. And that's a very unpleasant user experience, even if it's the same yeah, as that's other one of the things. That's actually just a design. That's just a design issue where it's like, you know, it makes it easier to navigate on the one hand. But on the other hand, it ruins the Many thanks for the new ball. Exactly Let me on. give you this ball and spin and spoon Better in return. Exactly. Yep. Then again, farewell. Well Pleasant journey. Chapter was added in late. As yeah. As I can tell, these were developed out of order. That's possible. Actually, I just want to go back. Safe. Honestly, just judging by the way that because it's so exotic yeah. and they have very little to do with each other. My guess is individual so Different development teams. Different development teams were developed out of work or developed Absolutely. one after the other. And some of them definitely, I'm guessing this one might just not have enough time. There's one that I absolutely hate because it's so low quality. We'll get to it. We'll but yeah, we'll get to it. Um, now we can go to Safe the Safe travels, my friends. So this is actually a painter. That's a simple blue gradient, but... And the rest is the geometric. That's style. using your head. This compass will point us in the right direction. That's a weird. <laughs> Although we don't know where we're going exactly. We're following the Silk Road, so. Which was really a road, but I'm sure there was a path. Yeah. 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 There your was soup bowl like, guidance really travels. helped us cook yeah. through that desert. And say we're not alone. He looks young. I well, do he believe was. we found Marco Polo in his party. I joined my father Niccolo and Uncle yeah. Maffeo on their second visit to the Khan. But without our oils, our caravan will have to turn back. Is that a tiger? That is a tiger. Yes. Hey, Marco Polo, have you been writing a diary? Because we would like to make sure that it's not stolen in about 700 years. <laughs> <laughs> Call back to where in the world. All right, let's talk to Marco Polo. Buongiorno. Have you any oil? Ours was stolen. Yeah, true. Back to us. Yeah. Who are you? I am Marco Polo, the son of a merchant, and I have come here from the faraway European land called Italy. Did the Medici family No. No. Medi the Medici's... I... I'm getting all my history. No, 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 you're not, you're not entirely off, but the Men the Venetians were Florence. Oh, right. Thank also, you. but you are, they were more Renaissance. Yeah, they were more, they were Renaissance. I'm trying to remember, were they around? Actually, the Medici's are actually bourgeois. They started out as peasants who rose to merchants, who oh. rose to political power. I did not know that. Huh? Yeah. Italy is quite far world. away so in yeah, this and, and the whole world away really in customs. Yes. I have much to learn about China and its people. Also about Muslims, who in his book, The Trials of Mark which I partially read, it's boring. <laughs> Joseph, maybe it gets better later, but like, when he's going to China, he doesn't have the maturity to like understand what he's seeing. Mm. And he like, insists on calling Muslims Mohammedans. Which is bad enough, because it's just like, it's not what they're called, but also it's like, it's spelled in a really, really bad, bad, bad way, and it's like, ah, this is so oh, annoying. Translate. Translation is better, better to have an accurate yeah. translation. Yeah. Which Our is, plan to bring precious oils to the mighty Khan was foiled by a thief in strange garments, who looked neither European nor Chinese. The oil thief proved too slippery to catch, but I'm sure he's around here somewhere. I'm not even 20, and already traveling is in my blood. Yep. The past three years' journey east with my father and uncle has been magnifico. A life of adventure awaits. He was 17 when he left. If only oh, I can okay. meet the Khan. Wow, so it's very young. Although, should I see how... Cultural perceptions can just really screw with how you think about history. Yeah. I thought Marco Polo was much older. Well, he stayed in China for like 20 years, yeah. 30 years. He came back as a middle-aged man. Yeah, so that's fair. Yeah. So this is actually interesting because we don't... I'm looking at... So what do we actually have to do? Our goal was find Marco Polo. Right. How do we do that? Because I had to kind of do this out of order. We need to go through the desert. We 
can't because we don't have a... We don't have a compass. Or direction right. landing thingy. So, we need, we need to get herbal. How do we do that? We probably need to get a trade for the other thing. How do we do that? We need silk. We need to use the mulberry tree. We use the mulberry tree on the tree. To, uh, to get the silk, to trade for the bowl, to get to give the silk person the bowl, and then we get and get here. Yeah. So I, I mean, kind of we're doing. So you kind of have to see everything, right? And then or intuit it, and then go backwards. So it's right. that's not very good design. It's like go through it's everything. It's okay design. It's, again, like, they're trying for variety here because yeah. You, but this is like the third mission where there's the with the adventure standard adventure game. But it's like you have to go through everything, then go back and go through right. everything to solve the puzzles. Yeah. And also, these puzzles are not that difficult, so they're yeah. not rewarding. Right. Well, here's the thing. I think right now, the Viking mission has been my favorite in terms of design. Yeah, Just me because too. of how... Inter because it's been actually the more, the more complex... Yeah, I've joined my father Niccolo and Uncle Maffeo on their second visit to the Khan. But without our oils, our caravan will have to turn back. Okay. We better get them. So in this case, also, like, solve their problem. It's not, like, do the separate thing and find the thief. It's just find a thief, get the damn oil back. Mm. Also, should I, should I be saying damn but oil from the Church of the Holy Sepulchre? Probably not. <laughs> so long. Best of luck bringing down that bandit. Thank you very much, Fionn. Thank you very much. So, that... So you're in tiger. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, trooper. You really made that tiger turn tail. That should not be what that tiger looks like. Did Siberian? Oh, hold on. I'm missing something. Wait. Did Siberian tigers even? I should have clicked the tiger first. No, I, I don't think it gave me information. But Siberian tigers did they? They didn't live in the desert. Um. No. <laughs> so the, we're. It's really hard to tell because we're outside of China. But also, we um missed a carbon jump. We did. Well, we only have two. Well, where is it? I don't know. We'll have to backtrack. Oh, Christ. Eh, don't worry. It's not two parts. I mean, oh, oh, I remember where it is. Oh, good. Well, we have the one in the... Arrivederci. Yeah. It's, um... Oh, what? -ah. We found the final fragment of the Carmen note. It'll help us find our fiendish fate. Yeah, I mean... I... Now that the C note's complete, I'll activate the time cuffs. So, so it is just time we have we can go we can arrest the thief anywhere in China, but problem on this, I'm sure they're around here. So we know it's next to them. Safe travels, my right. friends. Alright, back to the All right. Marco! I got lost. Oh, whoops. I have to use That's it. using your That's annoying. <laughs> yeah. That's one of those so space bar to skip through. Best of Okay. Actually, I should not have necessarily gone here, but I know the thief is here, but let's look at the note. Alright. His energy did Kublai Khan a stately dome decree. Meanwhile, you steal the precious oils from Polo's Italy. Italy. When you have them, wait for me, make sure that you're alone in the source of woodless fires, the lair of the black stone. Nice. That's actually good. good. That's probably the highest quality poem I think we've had. That's actually <laughs> kind of cool. That's one of the better, that's one of the better poems. Yeah. I'm okay with this. Well, I guess we need to start out with that rhyming scheme, okay? da 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 in the source of woodless fires. Which sounds mysterious, and it kind of is, but... Actually, do we get a hint from... Let's look in the cave first, because I'm... Does it tell you? Mm, looks like someone's been digging up yeah, coal, coal out of this sooty old mine. Yep. Old mine. Right! The lair of the black stone must be a Chinese coal mine. Let's go, Jacqueline Maybe. Hyde. My dear Jacqueline Hyde, I know oh. you're only doing your jobs, but you won't keep me locked up for long, losers. <laughs> I am so happy. Excellent work. That's one of the best. You rescued the Polo family, yeah. jailed Jacqueline Hyde, and did some pretty sharp bartering too. Thanks to you, trade between Europe and Asia will blossom, changing the course of both cultures with a bang. For better and for worse. Congratulations, Time Trooper! Not really suck for this bit. So, you've snagged another of my sidekicks. I'll admit it, you're a talented Time Trooper. But you'll Thank never you. stop my next scheme. Looks like Carmen's causing more crime just ahead in time. Can you take this case? 